Oh my god, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my god! Hello everyone, it is Adar Shabbatai, and today we're back with another more particularly requested smart DVD set. This is the hydraulic plane launcher, which uses these um, hydraulic pressure systems and syringes to move the launcher up and down and uh, launch the plane. So, let's take a look at the back. It uses hydraulic systems, aerodynamics, and scissor mechanism. You have three wooden sheets, two syringes, one instruction booklet, the only instruction booklet, all the rubber bands, looks like you can nerf darts as well, and some sheets so that you can make your airplane. You also learn about the forces of flight, like thrust, lift, drag, and gravity. So I think they will give an explanation because I, for one, haven't explored these topics too much. But yeah, looks like an interesting set. Let's get in with the unboxing. I have my trusty Lego staff that is gonna do the honors for us. Oh wait, yeah. Once again, very nice plastic wrapping to preserve the box. Let's just put this in the trash can. Right, so time to open this box. It does get Nerf darts. You get the tubes, the Nerf darts, the syringes, some foam, uh, some foam, yeah. Then you get this dear parent envelope, which I'm gonna give to my dad later on. You have these paper airplane sheets, the instruction booklet, another paper airplane sheet packet. Then you have these um, rubber bands, small bands, tiny bands, medium bands, and O-rings. Then you have these things, the transparent pieces and the plugs. You also have these three sheets. This looks to be a very complicated, but fun and compact build. Oh, something, no, nothing fell. But it's. So I'm gonna put the box aside for later use. Let's explore this instruction manual. So it gives us a quick, um, it gives us a quick overview of how to use the instruction manual how to read the booklet, how to remove rubber bands, removing the wrapping film around the um, around the pieces, and tells you what you get, how to separate the parts using the notches, and what we are building. It SmartDVD has a very nice system where they divide it into A and B. They divide it into different sections so that it'll be easier to observe your um, yeah, observe your progress. So let's get in with the build. I'm just gonna remove the pouch. It has some T locks inside it. Let's take this, the hook, and pierce it through. Smartivity is very good at preserving things. It uses plastic film for the boxes along with um along with the sheets inside in case water leaks from somewhere or something so thank you very big thank you for firstchoice.com for uploading this video and giving me the resources to create this video more about that later but for now let's get in with the build starting a time lapse in three two one
are done with the construction. This is the end result. It's another great smartivity set. So instead of using the medium, I mean instead of using yeah the medium bands over here, I used four small bands to increase the power. When I push this syringe, uh, there are actually many modes. You can put a paper plane on top and a bullet at the bottom, or you can put a bullet on top and a bullet at bottom. So this is what I like to call shotgun mode because it looks like a shotgun. I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, <laughs> I shot those two bullets from the same thing. So this is actually a very interesting set because it taught me a mechanical thing called scissor mechanism. Scissor mechanism is this thing. So two beams interlocking, both pushing upwards in a scissor manner. I didn't read that from anywhere and yeah, when I, when I checked the box, it said hydraulic plane launcher, but these aren't planes, these are. So we're going to have to fold these and then we'll be able to make them into the proper paper planes. So I'm just gonna fold these planes. It's actually very helpful. They give you, um, they tell you how to make the plane. So this is called the dart plane. And one second, let me check the instruction manual. I'm going to show you. They even have instructions for the plane, along with the steps being written here. In case it's too confusing, the instruction manual also tells you how to make the plane. So this is the dart plane that I'm making. There are four papers for the dart plane. And this is the Harrier plane. So let me make the dart plane. The dart plane is a very nice, sleek, compact design. It usually travels very far in the test in the tests that I've done. It traveled farther than the Harrier plane. So that's that's nice. Almost done. As you can see, they also made nice um, designs over here. I have a friend in school, he's really obsessed with planes. Once he sees this video, he'll be very happy. So this is the first plane, the dart plane. It has a nice sleek design. It has a slanting, it goes slanting like that and it has a slanting beak. Then these two wings are above instead of down below as a regular plane that we see daily. So now let's do the second one. Now that we've finished, this is the dart plane and this is the Harrier plane. This is the launcher. And like I said, when we push the syringe, the thing fires. So I'm going to show you the dart plane. And I think no need for a bullet. We can do the bullet later. So, like I said, when I push on this syringe, the air pressure will force this over here to move backwards. This also works if you try using it with air pressure. I've tried that as well. So as you can see, the plane flew behind my book stand. So let's rewind it. To reset, you either have to push down or pull back the syringe. Then this triggers over here. The trigger is in hit mode. Now shift it back so that the kinetic energy is stored up. Now we're gonna try the Harrier plane. I am still gonna be firing at that side because that side it goes really far. <laughs> Three, two, one. Harry Blaine kind of came back like a boomerang. Nice. I am still gonna have to find that dart plane. Speaking of darts, let's try these. Firstly, I'm gonna do a single one. So I was thinking that me and my friends could use this as a kind of turret while playing Nerf War. So we'd be bunkered down in one of the buildings and we'd have this outside. 
So if we see anybody, we'll turn it on fire. That's a cool idea. So I put that in there. Three, two, one, boom. And this dart fired perfectly. One second, let me pick it up. Now let's try both of these darts. And after that, I'm gonna show you an even crazier experiment. So let's put it back so that the kinetic energy is, uh oh, wait, oh, one second, it's not completely locked. There we go. So, uh, yeah, one second, I got the dart back. Now let's try shotgun mode. This time I'll be firing it at the camera so that you can see how cool it is. Oh, <laughs> those shots flew kind of far. And now for the final experiment, I'm going to need another dart plane because I don't know where that one went. So let me just do that quickly. Time lapse. Time for the crazy experiment. So I'm gonna be putting this plane inside this plane so that when it's flying midair, if this plane loses altitude and starts to go down a bit, this will continue carrying on. I can do either this or I can do this. This one looks better, but I don't think it's gonna go too far. Actually, the aerodynamics in this might be a bit better than this. They're both almost the same thing. Correction, they both are the same thing. I guess I'll put the dark plane on top. So once again, let's load this up. Pull it back. And get it ready in firing position. Oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Three, two, one. Oh! It hit the chair and it broke into two planes and then one of the planes, the dark plane, it continued going and then the, um, the other plane, it crashed on the ground. So this was a very interesting, complex build. I love these type of builds. These are my favorite kind because these ones teach you something new which you haven't learned yet or which you don't know in general and you're just trying to learn it. This hydraulic system was also pretty cool, but sometimes the hydraulic systems failed. I'm sorry I didn't give bloopers, but bloopers would have been cool. But yeah, the hydraulic system did fail a few times during the test launches. But apart from that, this is a very great set. So I'm just gonna set it back to storage mode. Smartivity also gave an instruction how to store it. So you're supposed to store it in a more compact position, like this. This is how you're supposed to store it. So thank you very much. One second, let me get the box. Yeah, so this is the box and this is the product. Let's do a quick comparison. The dart plane is the same. Everything is the same, this purple liquid's kind of cool though. I'm also gonna um, try to use different liquids. Overall, this was a great set. I loved it. So thank you very much if you're watching. Like I said, if you wanted me to review any other Smartivity sets in depth, please let me know down below in the comments section. Please like this video, subscribe, and share it to a friend. This is Adarsh Vipadhyay, signing out. See ya. Hello everyone, it's Adarsh Upadhyay and today I have a very exciting YouTube Shorts video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you what new sets I'm going to be reviewing. These sets were taken in polls from my friends, teachers and you guys, the viewers. So the first one is this one. The Space Explorer 5-in-1 Activity Kit. So this is one single set in which you can do five different things. There's the space helmet. You can use it to become a spaceman, an astronaut. Lift off experiment, a tiny rocket with hydraulic systems. Mission moon, I haven't explored that yet. Mega grabber, this is a fun little mini game. And constellation maker. So this is the first set. And this one is the second set. This is the I Spy Periscope. 
see without being seen, just like a submarine. So this one uses mirrors. First you view from there. The light reflects from there, goes up there, and then you can see like that. This is a very cool system. And it also has a nice little ship over here. So when I'm playing Nerf Wars, this will accompany me along with the plane launcher. So be sure to check out those videos. These are the newest releases that are going to come and that I'm going to review. Signing out for now. See ya.